Hi guys, welcome to part two of the video remix tutorial. Uh, so now that you've learned how to import all of your clips uh, and organize them in bins, we're going to show you how to create a sequence and lay down all of your clips. So we've got our list of clips over here in our video bin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and press the tilde key with this section selected and it'll expand it so we can see the full list. Um, and as you can tell, they're all different frame rates, they're all different sizes, um, they're probably all shot on different cameras. I mean, we're just pulling stuff from YouTube and Vimeo and all over the internet. So when you're creating your sequence, you want to think about, well, what do I want to set my parameters for my video? So what we suggest is, you know, think about what you're outputting to. This video is going to end up on, you know, YouTube or Vimeo, right? So we know it's going to be a 1920 by 1080 um, dimensions. Um, and for frame rate, we're just going to go based off, you know, what is the most common frame rate on this list of clips. Um, and so we see a lot of 60, so we're going to go with 60. Um, but obviously that's going to depend on how many clips you have and what the range is there. So we're going to go ahead and go to File, New, Sequence. So we're going to go with the AVCHD format. Um, we have the 1080p here and you'll notice this is the 60 frames per second. So now we'll name our sequence. So for this one, I'll just name it Panama Papers and click OK. And so now you have now you have your sequence here and it's started over here. So now I'm going to show you how to start putting clips in your timeline. So the video that we're creating is this British Virgin Islands kind of tourism piece. Just east of Puerto Rico lies some of the most beautiful islands in all of the Caribbean. Oh yes, we Brits like to take our bangers and mash to the British Virgin Islands, where we can park our private yachts and enjoy 365 days of trouble. So we've got multiple things going on there. We've got the video, we've got a voiceover, and we've got music. So first, we're just going to lay down all of the videos. Um, so we're going to start with the British Virgin Islands tourism video. So I'm just going to drag this out so I can see it a little better. Um, so here is, it's this GoPro footage that we have of British Virgin Islands. Um, and we're going to find the piece of the clip that we want. So we want it to be after this, you know, GoPro title sequence. So you can use the right and left arrows on your keyboard to find the exact frame. So I'm going to wait until it goes to black, and then you'll use either I on your keyboard or this button right here to mark an endpoint. And then we're going to want about, you know, maybe 45 seconds or 30 seconds of this clip. Um, so I'm going to stop about here and then mark an out point or hit O on my keyboard. And then we can bring just the video down so because we don't want any of the music that's on the GoPro video because we're going to add our own music. So I'm just going to drag from this film strip right here which means drag video only and it brings it straight down. And so you notice it's going to ask you the clip does not match the sequence settings do you want it to change to match the clip settings. Um, so remember we went through that deliberate effort to set our sequence to those settings so we want to keep the existing settings. We don't want to change it to the clip settings. So we're going to keep existing settings. So now we have our nice British Virgin Islands uh, clip right here. So you'll notice, see how it's smaller than um, what we set for our sequence. So we're just going to have to adjust the video size. So now I'm going to go over to my program window. And you'll double click on the clip. And then you can use these handlebars to increase the size so that you don't get those weird black frames. And you know you can adjust the fit of the window so you can see all of your frames better. So if you're at 25% that's a little better view. And now you'll notice the whole video plays within frame and we don't get black bars. Cool. So um, if you wanted audio only you would just drag from the drag audio only. Oh. You gotta make sure you have your A1 clip on. And you could bring just the waveform audio here. Um, if you brought the f if you drag from the clip, you'll bring both video and audio down. 
Um, if later you decide that you just want the video or you just want the audio but you brought them down together, you can always right click on it and go to unlink. And so now these are two separate items and I can just delete one if I just wanted the sound or delete the sound if I just wanted the video. So that's how you're going to bring down all of your clips. Is you're going to bring them into your source window by double clicking them from your project bin, setting it in and out, and then bringing it down into your sequence. So now that we've got this nice little tourism video, um, if we go back to our full clip, you'll notice that we do kind of this still image freeze frame cut. Up the wazoo and sits along a major shipping route for drug cartels. So now I'm going to show you how to create a still image so it has that freeze frame effect. Um, and this can work for, you know, if you ever want a still image from a video, you can use this technique. So we're going to go, I'm going to bring this back up to 50%. We're going to go to the very end of this video. And we're going to use this little camera button up here, which is export a frame. So what that's going to do is going to export this final frame of the clip and turn it into a JPEG image. So we'll go ahead and hit export frame. You can call it whatever you want. I'll call it beach freeze frame. And I'm going to save it as JPEG. That's fine. You want it to import into your project bin. Um, and make sure you set it to save where you have all your video assets already. Um, so I'm going to choose that folder. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now you'll notice that you have your beach freeze frame here. And I can put it in my stills folder and now I can drag it straight onto my timeline and now I'll replay that and it looks like a freeze frame. So that's how you create a still image. Um, so the other thing that I'll show you lastly is how to add a cross dissolve. Um, so we might want like a nice transition for how this video starts up. So a common one that people use is cross dissolve and all you have to do to apply effect is drag it right over the beginning of a clip and I will kind of show you. So so now it'll sl and you can adjust the effect if you want it to go longer. It'll slowly dissolve in the video. So that's how you lay down footage uh, or just audio. Um, so yeah, so that's how you start laying down footage for your remix video. Um, the next part of the uh, tutorial, we're going to go over music uh, and sound effects. So we're going to kind of jump ahead and I'm going to have all of my clips laid down already. Um, so go ahead and start playing around with sending ins and outs and bringing them into your timeline. Stay tuned for part three.